My name is Kevin Carter. I'm with the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure. I'm the bridge area manager here in the North Island. Today we're at Reese Bridge over the Solom River near Courtney, BC, and we're just getting ready to do some bridge washing. Bridge washing is important to get rid of the winter salt, abrasives, things that are put on the road to maintain traction and the safety of the traveling public. But those things build up and hold moisture. They contribute to the decay of steel services on a bridge, concrete services on a bridge, so we want to get rid of that as soon as we can. My name is Luke Marin. I work for Main Road Mid-Island as the bridge manager. I'm a big believer in bridge washing. It has great effects on prolonging the life of our infrastructure. One of the crew will obviously go underneath the structure just to take a look at the condition and to just make sure there is or there isn't nests or bats on the bridge. We usually know ahead of time whether there's birds or bats on a bridge from our annual inspections of that structure. We want to work with the environment. We don't want to come along and harm our species. So we do this for the protection of ourselves and the species that may be living under the bridge. We're just looking into the, uh, the diaphragms of bracing. If we're going to see nests tucked up tight in the corners, hidden from predators, usually away from the abutments, out towards the center of the bridge, and the bracing gives them lots of protection. Bats will hide up in a crevice up between bridge members up high, somewhere cool, dark, and you'll usually only see bat droppings to indicate they're on the structure. If we do find that, we have to make that decision whether we can work around it or we maybe just need to call in a professional. It is important not to disturb the nesting birds and it's also regulated by the Wildlife Act to get the permit, get the proper knowledge of what we're dealing with, the type of bird, the nesting seasons, is it endangered? Is it a species we need to maybe back away from, come back another time of the year? There's quite a few different things that can affect our approach. Once we've arrived on scene and done an inspection of the bridge to look for birds, bird nests, or bats, we can get to bridge washing. We start out with sweeping to remove the big deposits, the built up sand, salt, any debris, plug the drains if they exist, and then we'll come along with a tanker or draw water from the stream, rinse the deck, and then we'll use a high pressure hose to get the build up in the corners, up against the parapets, the edges, the barriers on the bridge. We want to direct the water out over the vegetated areas. Those vegetated surfaces help naturally filter out any sediment that comes through with the wash water. I love where we live. I love all the species around us. I would never want to have anything to do with harming our environment or any species. I believe to respect any native wildlife in the area is well worth it. We all need to work towards respecting everything in our environment. 